お前は一体何なんだ友達だ What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another War of the Visions video here on Fort Missouri Gaming. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about all the different things you should be focusing your stamina on over the next week until next week's update to see if we get any new content to add to the game. Um, I'm not for sure on it because they fulfilled a lot of the contents that we thought we would be lacking from the initial launch of the collab. We still do have the collab one more week. They could be bringing out a new featured unit next week. Um, it's not. I don't think it would be a new unit because we're still going to have Orlando and Ramza for one more week after the update coming on Tuesday night. So it's very possible they could be doing another um, unit in the current pool right up. Maybe they'll add their kind of gear for like an EX event, something like that. Maybe they'll add a grindable MR or SR unit. Uh, something like that could happen, I could see them doing. Or they could simply just kind of, it could be kind of an off week and maybe they're just gonna add a featured banner. I don't think we're gonna go just them pulling the banner and there'll be no contents added. Um, so that's kind of things you could see of what could be coming. So kind of plan out your stamina and your resources accordingly that more than likely there will be some kind of new event added because they've added some kind of new mission, whether it was story and it will not be story next week because we just got a story scene this week. So it'll probably be some kind of gear event or some kind of repeat unit event. Something along those lines is what you guys can see like we had with the E-Tree event that came after um, the initial Yerma event as well with Shadow Links. So just kind of <laughs> envision that for what you guys can anticipate for next week. But let's talk about where you guys should be using your stamina this week. So. Under the assumption you guys were farming at an adequate pace for the Gafgarian shards, so I'm assuming this doesn't pertain to new players, but if you guys do have your units uh, or your Gafgarian maxed out, then I'm going to kind of overpass the whole event quest here. After you do your first time clears, there's really no point in farming this stuff. If you really want to get, I guess, materials, um, you guys could go for this. This is going to be for the... Uh, for the rock um so this should be for the rock material i would assume um or actually the are these even elements i think these may be just like in general um possibly i think they are actually right yeah they are okay so actually low-key guys so quick edit to myself you actually could farm your uh, yellow materials here so this possibly could not be a, this might not be a bad plan actually. Uh, you won't be able to auto repeat because you're gonna get Gafgarian shards, but if you're gonna be paying attention to your game, um, I think your drop rates will be better here. Um, I think you get more overall drops here than you do in normal story. So you, like I actually might do this um, after this, after Guild Wars um, is over, because I'm recording this like right around when Guild Wars is starting. So. But after I do all this stuff, um, yeah, you may want to do that, actually, for the yellows. Um, I know there, they have them for purple, too. Yeah, purple's there as well. So, because for job materials, enhanced lightning units. Okay, so this is for lightning unit. Um, and then I refer to enhance a light unit's job. So, light units and lightning units and uh, dark units. And then the last one, it just said anything, right? Light units shop, okay. Okay, they do have all three. So, basically your drops are going to be the sword job class, it's going to be the statues, and then it's going to be the uh, the job materials, and then the, the faint fragments. So actually, this is actually a really good way to level up your job. So, low-key, me telling you guys to farm story probably is not a smart idea, unless you guys do need those specific um, symbol medals that are the rare ones. Those would be the only reason to farm story. All right, well, that's, I wish I would have picked that out earlier, but you learned something new while on camera. So, all right, guys, so yeah, there you guys go. You guys can do your purples, you guys can do your uh, yellows, and it looks like purples are gonna be on two different levels. So, um, let's see, it's got Gary on both levels. Oh, cool. So here, if you're farming purple, you can actually auto repeat, guys, because Gap Gary doesn't drop here, so you're not going to get interrupted of excess shards. That's pretty sweet. Um, so 
Uh, there is that. And then blues as well. So the only one where you're going to be interrupted on your auto repeat is going to be for your uh, yellows. There's only one stage, the last stage drops yellows, and you will get Gaffarian shards. So you will have to manual that, unfortunately. So I wish I would have known that earlier today. <laughs> so, all right. So yeah, the event quest, if you're on the job materials, if you guys have a lot of the event currency, or you still get event currency while you do that. If you guys want to be doing that, if you're not looking to just purely get event currency, because you obviously are going to get more for EXs, um, then the event regular quest on the last uh, four levels will be somewhere you guys can go to in order to get both event currency and to get job materials. So there you guys go. So if we go into EX though, these are going to be drop rewards for this. This is purely for crafting. So this is only to get the crafting materials for the Nagnarok. Uh, which is super important to get and you are going to be getting anywhere of these Final Fantasy Tactics event medals from 150 to 200 uh, material drops per run for only 12 stamina. So absolutely the EX is probably going to be one of the if not the most important thing to farm over the next couple weeks especially if you guys have not bought out the shop yet. You want to buy out everything that's limited to almost like a one time buy. Um, or like that's like in a 10 range. So you want your rainbow fragments, you want your uh, you want your shards for Orlando and Ramza, you want your rainbow spheres, you want all the job materials. Even if you don't have these units, guys, it's still beneficial to pick them up if that class ever comes back, or if you guys end up summoning for part two in a couple of months. So don't think just because I was so unlucky and I didn't get Ramza or Orlando, or I just decided not to pull for them. You guys should pick them up because they're free, and there's lots of other good stuff you guys can get, and you guys are able to get these materials here for the weapon. And the weapon can be used on any single-handed sword unit, so if you don't have Ramza or Orlando, but you have a uh, Engelbert, you can use it on that. If you have a Mont, everyone has Mont, so you can use it on him as well. So, yeah. So definitely there is a lot of benefits for farming this event, so I highly recommend this is like kind of your one and two priorities as far as using your uh, daily stamina goes. Me personally, I have the whole event shop bought out, so I am focusing on job materials for my Ramza and Orlando. So for me, I'm not gonna be focusing on back on this until probably Monday. Um, I might farm this a little bit tomorrow just to do some daily purchases, because I'm down to like 80 medals. So I may throw some stamina at it uh, tomorrow to get some daily purchases done if I don't wanna go super hard and farming materials for Orlando, if I wanna focus on him maybe on like Monday or something like that. We'll have to see what I decide to do, but definitely keep this in your mind's eye to do. Um, you obviously are going to do your daily commemorative quest, um, your daily JP reward. These are up for the commemorative quest is only up for five more days. And then the JP quest goes throughout the whole Final Fantasy Tactics event for 12 more days. Uh, the secret book quest, low key, in multiplayer, this is what I always farm. Because of, of you getting vision card materials so if you guys have pulled a lot of dupe of vision cards and you guys are lacking those you probably really want to focus on this for the until this leaves on tuesday this is the only event we have currently that is going to give you ex cubes it's going to give you the um the seals which these are used to give you higher rate to increase stats when you're leveling up weapons which is really really helpful these are not farmable outside of doing manual pvp and regular pvp in the exchange shop there isn't like a normal droppable dungeon for these seals so it's actually super important that you guys pay attention to that and there's no farmable dungeon period that has the eggs so this is super important guys and keep in mind the other event is going to go for another week before it leaves so you have only five more days to do this event and then it's going to be gone and unless they bring another event that has these similar drops next week you're not going to be able to farm for vision card enhancing materials and that can be very very huge especially with scion just dropping um the last week uh being the best vision card overall in the game so you want to pay attention to that if you guys are lacking enhancing materials to get your vision cards leveled up you got a lot of dupes uh, then you definitely want to be farming those as much as you can. All right, guys? So just letting you guys know on that. Uh, pretty much same stuff. We went into multiplayer. Um, you know, I recommend so you guys on your weekends try to farm as much gill as you need. I say a good buffer to have going into Monday is like 35 million. Um, if you guys can do that, that's going to be beneficial. Tomorrow, though, we should be getting our mission, our, our monthly mission rewards, where you are going to be able to get a lot more. I think it's like 20 million gill extra 
for completing 500 story runs. So you guys will have access to that as well if you guys forget to or just don't have enough stamina to get you guys to that point where you're comfortable on your gold gold guild consumption for the week. So don't worry, that should be dropping as long as they don't change anything uh, tomorrow as well. So, but I do want you guys to pay attention to that for Friday and Saturday. So me, typically what I'll do is I'll do the event farming and JP farming during the week. And then what I'm gonna do, uh, I use uh, 15 of my refreshes on the gill for Saturday. And then I use 15 of my refreshes for the double drop rate up for the uh, pink red materials, <laughs> yellow materials for the training chamber. Cause the pink red materials, you can only get them from this stage. You cannot get them from story or any other events currently. So I do, when this is on double drops for Saturday only, I do take advantage of those. Not committing like my whole stamina cause I do need to get some gold still, but I will commit about half of my refreshes to that. So just, that's my recommendation for you guys. It's very good kind of like buffer to set yourself up with. So that is um, the events section. So once we go into the next section, which is story, obviously if you guys have not finished chapter five, scene three, go ahead and do that, you know, of course. But outside of that, basically when you guys are needing the special materials, which is gonna be like this here, like the warrior's memory, the art, the ranger's memory, things like these, these rare drop materials that you need anywhere from two to four of for your uh, level, your level 10 and 11 um, job levels to get to 12 from, or actually it's from 9, 10, 9, 10, 11, or yeah, 9, 10, and 11. You're going to need these materials for each class. So remember, you have three classes per hero. Even if you know I'm never going to use the third class, you still want to level it up because it gives you additional stat increases and it unlocks abilities that you may need in the future. So you do want to pay attention to these. So, excuse me, I would recommend you guys still try to get these during the week. Um, like I said, so when we break it down in a nutshell, first priority, make sure you farm the event, make sure you're comfortable with the amount of event currency you have, get the stuff in the exchange shop, especially the limited rare materials. Then you guys want to focus on the, uh, the regular drops to get your job materials because you can get lightning dark and um in lightning dark and, and lightning materials to drop in the regular event as well as the event materials for blue yellow and pink or not sorry blue yellow and purple not pink blue yellow and purple oh my god if there was pink in there um so you want to make sure you guys get those for the uh for like the uh the crosses the elemental uh, job materials that you need anywhere from 20 to 40 of those. And then finally, guys, go into story as well when you guys um, need to get these ultra rare materials. So that's how I would strip out your uh, your stamina. Like I said, I know a lot of you are going to be like, farm the event, over farm the event, farm the event, because you can do your exchanges a week after it ends. But you still need to eventually get job materials. You cannot get any job materials from EX. You just cannot. So... You guys can also, if you guys really want that event currency, like I just mentioned in my last video, you can co-op that whole event in, in, for free and, with no stamina. So get your job materials, get your guys leveled up to 12, you know, nine, whatever you guys have for limit breaks, so on and so forth, and then focus on getting your event materials as well, making sure you guys do complete it in a timely manner, get your daily purchases, what you need, whether it be the uh, elemental fragments, the elemental prisms, uh, any of the faint memories, even like maybe if you want some of the sword books, even though I don't recommend because they're super expensive. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope this kind of laid a roadmap for you guys for the next week of how you guys should use your stamina, use your co-op time, all that good stuff. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe. If you guys are new, ring that bell so you guys are notified for the next upload. I thank you guys so much for watching once again. Be safe out there and I will see you guys next